Hi, this is Mr. Urego, and today I'm going to show you how to complete the square. So my directions are find the value, find the value of c that makes the expression a perfect square trinomial, then write the expression as a square of a binomial. So first, let's find the value of c. Find the value of c that makes the expression a perfect square trinomial. Let's do number five. Okay, so I'm going to have. I'm going to have x squared plus 14x plus c. I need to find the value of c that makes this trinomial a perfect square trinomial. How do I do that? To find the value of c, okay, I'm going to bring this value, whatever value is next to the x. Again, to find the value of c, I'll bring the value that is next to the x. In this case, is 14 and whatever value I divide it by 2 and I raise it to the second power. I square it. So in my case, c will be 14 divided by 2, 7, to the second power is 49. So my new trinomial is going to be x squared plus 14x plus c, but c is 49. And that's my perfect square trinomial. This expression, this expression is called a perfect square trinomial. Okay, like the direction says, perfect square trinomial. The second part of the direction says, then write the expression as a square of a binomial. Write the expression as a square of a binomial. So, to write this expression as a square binomial, what I'm going to do is, whatever variable you have here, you bring x. If this is x squared, then I only bring 1x. And then the second part over here is going to be half, half of whatever value is next to the x. Again, the second part here on my binomial is going to be half of whatever is next to the x. So half of 14 is going to be 7. Okay, half of 14 is 7. And this is called the square of a binomial, two terms. Okay, again, square of a binomial. Right? So that's my answer. My final answer is the perfect square trinomial, which is x squared plus 14x plus 49, that's called your, oh, oh, okay, let me write that. That's called a perfect square trinomial, okay? And the x plus 7 to the second power is called a square, because I have a 2 over here, a square of a binomial. Okay, so this is my final answer. Let's do a couple more like this. Let's do number 7. 7 I have x squared minus 10x plus c. Again, c is negative 10, whatever is next to the x, divided by 2 to the second power. Okay? C, this is the value of C, is the same as whatever is next to the x, divided by 2, everything to the second power. Make sure you keep the parentheses. So negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5 to the second power. Negative 5 to the second power is positive 25. Any number, any negative number, any negative number raised to the second power is going to be positive number. Okay? That's why I keep the parentheses. So in this case, C is 25. Now, the second part of the instructions says... Um, Right, find the value of c that makes the, the expression of the perfect square trinomial. In my case, it's going to be x squared minus 10x plus c. 
plus 25 and then they say write the expression as a square square that's what the square of a binomial two terms the first term like I said before is gonna be the X the second term over here the second term is gonna be half of this so it's negative 10 divided by 2 which is negative 5 that second term comes over here and right here you have your perfect square trinomial and then the square of a binomial and that's your answer to finish let's do this part to finish let's do um, something that is not even I'm saying not even this value in the middle so you see how we have to do let's do number 8 x squared plus 5x plus c x squared so eight, x squared plus 5x plus c okay so I need to find the value of c the value of c is whatever is here 5 divided by 2 to the second power in my class I don't like to use calculators or we have to do decimals so in this case I'm going to do the fractions I'm going to have 5 to the second power is 25 and then I'm going to have 2 to the second power which is 4 so the value of C is 25 over 4 and I'll keep it like that All right let's write the trinomial and then the square of a binomial so my answer I'm gonna have x squared plus 5x plus 25 uh oh 25 over 4 equals my square of the binomial again x squared so that's x the second term is half of this half of 5 look half of 5 so it's gonna be 5 over 2 so my answer is x squared plus 5x plus 25 over 4 that's my perfect square trinomial and the square of a binomial x plus 5 over 2 to the second power and we're done study please